Hello everyone, Lou Farm Guy here with a new mod for Tuesday, March the 29th. It's the Cokerling Jockey 600 by ARM Team. And uh, the slot count to follow. Um, it's uh, 9.79 megabytes to download. And it's, well, it's Cedar. Uh, so let's have a look. We'll see where, where, where we could find it. Where can, where could we possibly find a cedar <laughs> in here? Per, 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 perhaps under cedars. Yes, there it is. The Crokerling Jockey six hundred forty-four thousand uh, dollars for a six-meter cedar, which is. Um, let's see. Do we have another six-meter one? That there it is. Yeah, that's. Well, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's only, uh, it's seeds only, so it's not, um, it doesn't have seed or for, uh, just seed, no fertilizer. 160 horsepower, so pretty low horsepower requirement. Uh, 2,800 liters of seed <clears throat> is 6 meters at 11 miles per hour. Let's have a take a look. Have a take a look at it. Have a take a look at it. Uh, yes, it, it also a direct drill. Very nice. So. Here it is. Uh, not a lot of mm, fancy options. Um, as you can see, it's set up as a direct drill, so it's very authentic. Uh, we have Trailborg, Michelin, Vertistein, BKT, and back to Trailborg. A uh, couple of options in the tires, but in, rea in reality, it's they're just tires. Um, and then it's colors. We have all the colors of this palette. Orange, if you like. Orangey glad. I didn't say banana. Um, and that, the, the, the uh, design color is the top. And what else? Let's make it pink just to see if there's... No, just the top. And then, of course, just the rim color can be anything, anything you uh, desire on that palette there. And that's it. Um, <clears throat> performance. Well, uh, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, we have a underpowered, whoops, a little, a uh, little Voltra at, I think, what did we put it at? Uh, uh, 110 horsepower. So it's, it's, it's definitely underpowered. Of course, I matched up t to match the, uh, the colors. <clears throat> This is the base game, Voltra, and it's not quite hacking it. Seven miles per hour is pretty much what it's at. Doesn't do too badly, but you can tell it's it's not strong enough. So we have this New Holland, which is at 155 horsepower, I believe, which is about five horsepower just below <clears throat> the uh, required. And uh, there it is, 11 miles per hour. It doesn't zip up to there, but it does it. So, if you have any kind of uh, undulations in the topography, then uh, perhaps you should consider going up to maybe about 200 or 250, something around there. Because uh, I don't think 160 is... 160 will be great for flat. Pretty much flat surfaces and as you can see the workers worked it flawlessly uh no problems uh even a little bit of just that little bit at the end i would barely i wouldn't have even mentioned it if it hadn't just happened right there <laughs> um it's really nothing um and then of course in looney farm guy fashion uh, we have the new uh, Lizard 900 with the three-point link on the back of the weight uh, hooked up into in in uh, race day red, of course. Um, and we're just going to see uh, uh, what's going to happen when they do that. Of course, I, I've done it already. We know what's going to happen, but we'll set a worker off at a standing start and. A little bit of wheel spin, <laughs> and away we go. Seating at 20, I think he can get it up to about 24. Probably if I had duels on there, it'd be a little bit 
It'd be a little 22, 23. Yeah, it's kind of bouncing. 22, 23. Um, and uh, actually doing quite a fine job of it. No chance of missing the end part there. Uh, if we look at our... Yeah, he's not missing anything either. It's very, very fine job there. And um, even with that attachment on there, uh, they operate it uh, without incident, accident, or run strips or errors. And um, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, so uh, you want to see lights and stuff like that, don't you? All right, lights on. Uh, unfolding is like so. Uh, signal, left signal, right signal, very tiny signals, nothing to write home about. Uh, beacons, it does not have any beacons. And uh, lowering it, the wheels come up like that, let it down, raise it back up again, and there it is. Uh, the uh, L1 and uh, left on the D-pad opens the cover. It's a rolling cover, kind of like a slow roll, um, but not too slow. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, that's, yeah, other than that, no secret abilities or anything like that. It has the, the basic uh, types of crop uh, that you would expect in a cedar. Uh, you can fill the cedar up uh, any number of ways, the normal ways, or uh, just uh, pull it up to a, uh, say, a, buy, a buying silo uh, like so. Close the cover again. And away you go. As I said, it's a direct drill, so no worries about that. And uh, that's about all there is to that. That is the Crokerling Jockey 600. 9.79 megabytes. Oh, yes. And eight slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So, till next time.